What's your reaction? You please. I am pleased because we are through, and last year at that stage um, we went out by them. Um, if I have to evaluate the performance and um, what we've done today with the ball in particular, it's nowhere near the standards uh, that we have set ourselves. And uh, we make it really difficult because we didn't have any stability when you give the amount of balls away that we have given in the game. And uh, when that happens, um, you don't have the control that you need to manage the time the way we should have done. And uh, that's related as well to the amount of chances, obviously, that we meet again. Do you think they were a bit tired after Sunday or a bit nervous after what happened last season against Olympiacos? Uh, excuse me. We have to manage uh, to play every three days. We have to manage to play the time. We have to manage to play when we are in front or behind. Uh, so it's football. And I don't want any of those excuses. I say it again. It's nowhere near the level um, with the ball, what we have done today. That said, you're through to the quarterfinals. Yes, we are really happy with that. Um, it's another step forward as a team. So hopefully we can learn uh, some lessons as well today and uh, and be ready because it will be even tougher. It's true that we have beaten two good teams, Mifika and Olympiacos, but uh, the next one it will be even tougher, I think. Okay, thanks for your time. Mark Membranes. Hi, Miguel. Uh, you took solid there. You have to be better in the next round, otherwise you, you'll be out, won't you? Yes, because um, <clears throat> what we have to do, the way we are set up, um, the organization we have and, and the way we want to play, we have to be much more efficient, uh, much more simple, much more um, much more cohesion as a team uh, to glide ourselves as a team. Because without that structure, obviously, you are exposed when you lose the ball in, in really dangerous areas without any opposition. Um, when you do that, and we did that a little bit well, we created chance after chance. Uh, but again, as you mentioned, you want to be in the competition when you have four, five, six big chances in Europe. You have to put them away and then the tie is, is over. Uh, a couple of those chances at least fell to Pierre. Um, is there any concern from you that what happened at the weekend is still in his mind? I hope he doesn't. Uh, we moved on from that. Uh, he started the game today and, um, and we expect him when he, he does play that he performs at the level that uh, he can. Uh, can I just ask one about Bukayo Saka? He's not involved at all tonight. Do you still expect to go and link up with England? We don't know. Depends how he feels in the next uh, few days. Uh, we spoke yesterday. He wasn't <clears throat> near um, ready to, to be involved today. We made that decision. We'll make the decision for Sunday against West Ham and then uh, we'll talk with the doctors and the national team to decide what we do. Thank you, Kel. Thank you. John Cross. Mikel, I was just going to ask you, you played so well at the weekend and, and then tonight, obviously, you know, you, you've, you, you, you've got this disappointing performance. How difficult is it and amongst so many games to, to, to get the consistency that you're striving for or is, or is that, that simply still not an excuse? But it's the level that, uh, that we need, it's the level that is required at this football club and, uh, and it's what we have to ask ourselves to do. And, um, and again, if we would have won the game, maybe we were happier. But the reality is that we lost it, um, and uh, we lost it for many reasons, and we have to learn the lesson. Sure. Are, are you, are, you know, you're open to to anyone in the, in the next round? I suppose you know anyone in in the quarterfinals is going to be difficult. But there's still uh, one or two games going on still, so I don't know. It will be. They are all really good teams, and uh, the competition is um, is complicated. So let's see. Thank you. Thank you. Fidia Connor. Mikael, what does it say, though, about the lads, the fact that when things weren't going to plan tonight, they were still able to do enough to ensure they got the result that would see them through? Yeah, well, uh, I doubt zero about, uh, about the personality that we have, the willingness, the war rates. You know, we're giving balls away. Everybody was sprinting back. Everybody was going for every single challenge. Um, we got physically really tired towards the end because of the game that we played as well. So about the commitment and the effort is zero doubts. We know that. And that's a, a given that the boys give you every single time. It's about the level of quality that we have to produce um, to be where we want to be, to compete in the Premier League with the teams that you have to compete and in Europe with the teams that uh, we have uh, to face um, in the next few games. So it's just about that. For the rest, I'm incredibly proud and happy for the group that we have. 
um, the determination they have, the spirit that they have, but um, we need to go another step forward. And to go that extra step forward, is it composure? Is it decision making in, in the final third? What is it? It's a bit of everything. First of all, you need a stability, and a stability um, give you reassurance, give you confidence, give you time, give you the pictures that we have to prepare for the game. And after that, the decision making and everything is is better. When everything is rushing and somebody's chasing, and then you lose the ball and you go another ball, that's not a game you plan. So you have to reset yourself and go back to the basics and the things that we have to do right to be able to be on top of the game. Thanks, Mikel. Thank you. Ian Abrahams. Hi, oh, Mikel. Does it actually matter how you won tonight? Because Spurs have just lost uh, and they had a two-goal lead and they look comfortable. So, I mean, it, although you lost the game tonight, it doesn't actually matter, does it, how you got through? Well, it does matter because it's not the result. It's about the performance and the direction that we want to, to take. And as well, the confidence and the level of consistency that we have to show up after a great performance to do it again. And um, for me, it does matter. But obviously, I'm really happy because uh, we have three. Any, any comment on Spurs going out because it makes life maybe a little bit easier for you? I don't know. I don't know if the game is, is finished. Yeah, it's finished, yeah. Oh, but it shows as well the level of the opposition that people take for granted that you play against any opponent and you're going to be through because the, the name of the club that you represent and uh, is not like that. And um, every team in Europe is uh, really difficult to beat. And last one from me, the, the, the finishing by Pierre tonight and maybe just in general, I mean, Nicolas Pepe had a couple of chances. For, your, for you to find this consistency, the finishing has to be consistent. It doesn't have to be more lethal. Well, when you are here uh, and you create the chance that we created tonight, you have to put the game uh, to bed. And we know that that's going to be crucial in the next um, round to have the best possible chance to, to be through. Thank you, Mikhail. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.